Okay, we're installing a Super Beast to uh, check the integrity of the utility neutral. This is always a fun part. And this is going to tell us in pretty short order what's actually happening. You know, you grab a hold of the, um, you, you pinch them with the pliers, then you can reach in there. I don't have nothing that small to get in there. I'm, my pliers won't, won't, they're too big. I don't know. I'm trying. They have bigger pliers, too. Yeah. Let me just keep working on that. Actually, my, my favorite trick for that one is a pair of needle nose. Yeah. Well, while you're being Mr. Cecil B. DeMille here, I was going to go get my needle nose pliers for the gentleman. Oh, I see. Okay. So close. I do not have an open neutral here. No open neutral. No, because when I have an open neutral, I lost two volts, and I can lose actually op op more up to three. But that would tell me that um, if I lost more than three volts, uh, I'd be it's still okay. I'd be suspect that my connection, but neutral, it goes up. It'll go down to 100 and up to 140. It just goes big, big jumps when it's open. Yeah, big swaps. Big swaps. like um, you know, like yeah, you, I, you equal. Uh, 240, so you could have 90 here yeah, it goes and down one to, you know, to 100. You know, somewhere in that low, low range. And 100 and a one, 140 mm -hmm. on the other one. Yeah, I mean, it's huge. Yeah, I've seen an that. Open neutral. Yeah. So okay. I don't have an open neutral, but I have a problem here. That shouldn't be. It's just not a good connection. One problem. Okay, it's not high voltage. We got with no load on it. Uh, would, does your um, does the beast show um, a partially open neutral? Would it show that? Uh, when would have, yeah, I would have had a, some kind of more than I would have lost way more than two volts. I only lost two volts on each way. Yeah. 118 to 116. 118 to 116. How much evenly. load does that put on? Uh, you know, I don't know off the top of my head. It's it's a super beast. It's it's um it puts more than plenty to do the job amps somebody I, you know I, I don't think it puts that much 50 amps it's just a little more stronger than a blow dryer probably oh okay yeah. 20 amps maybe so you got 239 volts here I mean that's good voltage uh-huh um, I that's a problem it shouldn't because it's not a solid connection I shouldn't be able to move it like that and I can't tighten it anymore because the lug I don't want to break it I see and you know the lug I'm scared I'm, I'm gonna break it because it's moving the way uh, it is. You seen it? You put your hand on. I want you to feel it. Oh well. It, it, it should. That's not good connection. That's a terrible connection. Yeah. I mean, it's it's making contact. But I checked. I went back into my system, and when I have an open neutral, like I say, you guys are probably way more educated about it. But I know how to do my job. When I have an open neutral, it is. Um, you're not guessing. You know it. It's ninety-one forty. Something yeah, it's like, like that. a oh my god, I got oh, no ninety-one fifty something like that. Yeah, I mean, I see it. I see it. I see it huge. When so I don't have an open neutral. When we're doing our, our testing for these kinds of purposes, um, we sometimes find uh, four or five amps going to ground, and uh, just tightening up the neutrals helps. Sure, and I tried to tighten that one, but I don't want to yard on that anymore so I'm gonna break it. is the screw stuck in the block is that why it won't uh how about some wd-40 or no, penetrating it's, it, on? i don't have a, a solid base here this is only tack, tacked on here it's got like a um, you know i don't know if it's like a little screw back there rail but that's not a great connection right there and if i if i apply more pressure i'm gonna snap it 
I've seen it. I've done it. I've seen it. Oh, okay. We would want to loosen that screw up with WD-40. Right. You can do anything you want. That's on your I mean, that's on my side, but that box is the customer's. I don't touch that box. Yes. Oh, okay. This only thing here is, this is mine to feed them power, but all the connections, anything with this box is yours. Or the customer's, I should say. Yes. Whatever you like to do, uh, you know, it's up to you. So we got a loose neutral uh, That's some locking lug. You see it? Yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't. But it's still making connection. It's not making a bag. It's and still it, so it should it be solidly mounted to the can there, so it doesn't wiggle at all. Normally, all. it is. It looks like it's solidly mounted to the cable. You yeah, know. it does. I, I don't see any issues. I mean, it's touching, but it could give you, um, you know, it could cause some issues. But everything's is contacting. I don't see an open. Well, I didn't pick up. An Do you open think that he what he did was has maybe improved the situation? We should test. Well, I say let me. See, I mean, uh, Do you want me to run down there with my meter and test it and down the uh, street, or in the middle of the driveway? No, we should clamp these pipes around here. Oh, okay. We'd have to put a full load on it. We'd have to put a load on the house too to be able to see that. No way to get it. Yeah, see if there's any voltage on 